What's up, YouTube? Coming back at you with another video. Gonna talk a little bit of weight stuff. You guys know me, I talk about weight quite often. Because there's a lot of stupid things you can do to take weight. There's a lot of crap in these cars that people don't realize make a weight difference. And tonight, I pulled this front sway bar off the wagon. Usually they're the first things I pull off. So this was about 15 to 20 pounds. With the brackets and hardware and everything, the sway bar itself was 15 by itself. So that's going to be any Fox body. And then, believe it or not, the mounts and the, all the hardware, the, top, the sway bar links, all that stuff adds up to be about another 4 to 5 pounds. So you're talking at least, we'll say, on the safe side, 18 pounds to 20 pounds by removing a front sway bar out of a car. Doesn't seem like a lot, but you're talking right on the nose of the car. And then you're also talking weight transfer. That sway bar being unhooked is going to allow that front end to come up. Extra inch or two inches, roughly, so you're going to gain a little bit more travel. Um... What that's going to do is when the car is in motion, it won't upset the chassis as fast because it's going to be riding up still in motion. So it might be able to keep that back tire planted. And then by the time it's all the way extended in the front, it'll already be gripped in and already up to speed where it can't break the tires loose. So kind of hoping that helps me out with the car hooking a little bit. You guys saw I welded the diff in the last video, which that did help it. I'm trying to get everything to come into play here. That's one less thing I got to pull off later on when I do this. Second thing is I told you guys I did a starter in this car. And I put a mini starter in it. Now, a mini starter... I have like a 94 Mustang GT, 95 GT Mustang. You can go right to auto parts store, order one. And, you know, you get a higher output starter to crank that motor over easier. And you get a little bit of weight savings. And you might not think that's anything crazy. I'm going to, I got both of them sitting here, the old one out of the car, and the old mini starter that I have laying around, just to show comparison between the two. Obviously, this is a factory older starter that came in, I guess you could say, probably as far back as the 60s, but Fox Body Air definitely had these. And this thing's 15 pounds. I just weighed it. I put it on the scale alone by itself, and I also stood on the scale and weighed it with me, and it's a 15 pound difference with me and the starter, and on the scale by itself, 15 pounds. This is half the weight. This is about 7 pounds. Maybe just under 7. Um, that might not seem like a lot, but I mean, you're talking 7 pounds... Of weight savings again off the front of the car a little bit closer to the firewall but it's still off the front of the car and it's also off the front of the passenger side now you might say well what does that matter off the passenger side but these cars as you guys know if you're into them they like to twist the front end left tire is always higher first one up off the ground before the right so when you take a little bit of that weight off that passenger side it's going to make that side react a little faster. Now, 7 pounds isn't going to make the biggest difference in the world. But it is going to help a little bit. Granted, it's kind of to the center of the car. I mean, you're talking the starter's probably right about where my hand is. If it'll concentrate on the car, it doesn't want to. Probably right about, actually, probably right about where that bumper bumperette used to be. The hole in the bumper is probably about where the starter is. But it's still 
on this side of the car is my point. It's a lot of little stuff like this that people don't realize that in the long term makes an effect and a slight difference. And it could be the slightest difference in the world, but I mean a hundredth of a second, especially in a bracket car or something, you know, makes a big difference when you're drag racing. So, seven pounds, it's not even going to be, I mean, you're talking, it's 100 pounds per, for a tenth. But, uh, I mean, you got seven here, we pulled the sway bar, 20, it's 27 pounds. The intake we took off, you know, the AC, all that stuff adds up. So... Want to let you guys in on the little overlooked secret, I guess you could say. Now, I didn't put this in mainly for weight. I put this in because it's a stronger starter. And it's what I actually had laying around in the in the garage. But uh, it's definitely a lot nicer to put this in than it is this. This, just being lighter, is nicer just to work on the car in general. So... It's got its benefits all the way around going to one of these starters. So if you don't have a mini starter in your car, like I said, ET-wise, you're not even going to notice this on a slip. I mean, you're talking a fraction of a tenth here. But if you're trying to get some weight savings out of a car, I mean, think about it. If you're 3,000 pounds and you want the car to get into the 2,900, you can put a starter in it And if you don't have one. Then you'll break that 2900 mark so just a little food for thought guys every little bit batteries all that stuff you can save a couple pounds here a couple pounds there it all adds up five and five is 10 10 and 10 is 20 20 and 20 is 40 40 and 40 is 80 and it keeps on going but before you know it you got 100 pounds out of the car and didn't even realize it So, there it is, guys. Just a little tip I wanted to share with you. Well, it's time for me to clean everything up. Get washed up, go inside and relax. 1.30 in the morning. It's perfect. I can go inside and sit with the cats. Watch something on TV before going to bed. All right. Until next time. Thanks for watching, and if you like this stuff, like and subscribe. And thanks again, I'll catch you guys on the next one.